Today is going to be a good day. Can you feel it? Oh, yeah. I can feel it in my bones. We're going to get power today. Sure hope so. settings to configure lithium ion batteries but we got progress lights up lights up we were getting a little sparks there for a little bit which is a little scary but oh well, yeah it's you you get little sparks whenever you connect two different batteries with two different voltages you get a little bit of a spark but i guess with the combination of them all and the lack of voltage or whatever Connecting it to the actual junction box, I would get like almost like an arc. Like it was like, it felt like it wasn't supposed to be happening. So I was like going through panicking, looking through everything, <laughs> trying to figure out what I did wrong. And it was just, it was just because it was, uh, I guess the voltage difference caused just a bigger flash. Yeah. So let's try flipping on the junction box. Before we do that, let me talk about the battery setup. Um, so we got the charge controller to come on and I can go through the settings, but in the manual it even says there's supposed to be a custom battery setup because this isn't a standard uh, battery. This is a out of a, an electric car. Nominal voltage for this is like 57 volts and it can charge up to or 63 so that's obviously not a normal setup so I was trying to go through the menu and it's supposed to have a custom battery menu and it doesn't it has gel flooded and uh, a AGM and it doesn't give me the option for a custom so I gotta figure that out why that's not working but I can at least see if this inverter can flip on so let's go ahead and do that oh well that was a beautiful sound for two seconds hmm. what happened don't know <laughs> literally every single thing that he's like all right we're good and then he starts it or he can't start it or it'll start and then stop. We're eventually going to figure it all out. Eventually. It's quite the learning process. Alright, so... Granted, the breaker box isn't finished, but I at least got my wires run to it. So, I just wanted to see if I have power. And... I'll hold it up here. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. On one strand, we got 119 volts, and on the other, got 118, just under 119 volts. Oh my gosh. So we got power. What? Time to put in our power outlet. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. I know, I got scared there. I was so scared. <laughs> Heck yeah, we have power. That's so much nicer than using our phone flashlights. So I'm going to be installing the, uh, the last three solar panels. So uh, we'll have the full array in effect now. But, I mean, just these six so far, like, they charge up those batteries real quick.
the solar is done. I'll have to tidy up some of these wires right here. But um, other than that, all 12 panels an hour hooked up. So the number one thing, the number one that we were most excited for was getting power is getting a refrigerator. Uh -huh. <laughs> like you have no idea the things that we took for granted back at our house i mean you just don't think about how many things that you use that require electricity and now you know we realize that there's so many things you can't do so we are so happy we have an ice cold freezer with some really healthy food in it i know <laughs> You know, just literally, this is a total game changer. Black stainless steel looks yeah. looks really cool, and it only uses, uh, I think it estimated it at 400 kilowatts a year, but that's like just over one kilowatt a day. So that's like literally nothing for one our kilowatt a day. Yeah, which is nothing over. for our system. But other normal fridges, like our one that we used to have back at our old house, the was double door over like double that. Yeah, it was it was like 2.4 kilowatts or something like that, 2.2 .2, I think. Yeah, so we're definitely very excited and you know, we're going to try to do this with as many appliances and... Make the house know, as efficient as possible. Yeah, just because that still may seem like a lot, but if you do that with every single device, it's going to end up adding up and you're going to be, you know, yeah. saving a lot of energy, so... Yeah. yeah. That's the thing with renewable energy. Before, when we were having to use the generator to charge stuff, I mean, there was one night that poor Spencer was having to edit in here with the generator on, and we started running out of gas. We're now I mean, we're really never going to run out of power. Like the sun, even when it's not shining and it's complete overcast, you are still pulling power. Yeah, we're right now we 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 don't use nearly as much as this thing can put out. I mean, this thing continuously can put out 4000 watts and we don't even pull anything close to that. The most I've seen it pull was like 11 1100 when the microwave was running microwave the light was on right the, we were charging stuff the refrigerator was on and this is only the beginning like we've said before we plan on expanding the system one day to you know continue to meet our needs and then some like we don't ever want to have a shortage of, of power. power yeah i mean ideally i we want to build the house as efficient as possible so we can run the entire house off of just one and then possibly in the future get a electric car like a Nissan Leaf or something yeah and uh, then just get another one to that will be purely for like the shop running shop tools and uh, charging the electric car and then this one will be for the house that would that would be the most ideal situation so oh yeah all right so now Spencer is going to be giving you a little overview of our entire solar system. Yep. So, uh, we have 12 235 watt uh, hand wall uh, solar one uh, solar panels. The I don't know the exact model number. I can I'll probably just put it in the one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> we got three in series, so we got one, two, and three connected uh, negative to positive, negative to positive, and then I have a positive and a negative that run to the combiner box. And that's the same thing with all, all, uh, all 12. There's three that'll be connected together. So I have a total of four in series, and um, well, each one is three in series, but total of four in parallel. So, and you can see my grounds for each one. I've just got a six gauge uh, bare copper wire that runs to every single solar panel. It's 
flies are crazy today. I know. All right, so and then they come into the combiner box. Um, positives on this side, negatives on this side, and uh, I've, I've, the positives come in. They come to this. Each one comes. Each three comes to their own breaker, and uh, then the negatives go into a negative uh, bus bar. And I got uh, a six gauge uh, wire that runs from the combiner box all the way down into the underground in PVC conduit and that runs uh, into the hut. <clears throat> the conduit that goes underground comes up through the through the floor. I got a spray foam that down there by the way. Uh, but comes up, comes over, and then up into the car, uh, charge controller. And then from the charge controller, I have two wires, uh, a PV positive and a PV negative, and then a battery positive and a battery negative, which uh, obviously the PV positive and PV negative come in from the solar panels, and the P battery negative and battery positive, all they do is come uh, connect here. They go through this conduit into a uh, um, a battery positive cable and a battery negative cable over here. It connects, so it connects the charge controller to that terminal, and then I have also the battery positive connect to the battery positive lug, and then the battery negative connect to the battery negative lug. Are you speaking in English? I know, it, without having the covers off, it's kind of, it's a little rough showing. Believe me guys, I'm a little um, confused too. <laughs> instead of, these are electric car batteries, so they are meant to be connected in series, which means every positive would go into the next one's negative. But since we don't need uh, 400 volts, like most electric cars run, high, mid to high threes to... 400 volt range. We don't need that much voltage. We just uh, we just want a bigger battery bank. So we, what we did was connect it in parallel, and then just all that is is connecting all the positives together and all the negatives together. So the negative connects to this negative, which connects to this negative, which and so on and so forth. And same thing with the positives. And then that just runs down into here. And I mean, so far, I mean, just with those five batteries alone, like it has, doesn't even make a dent. All this. right. Once we connect the other two yeah. and expand it one day, what? Yeah. I mean, you can you can see here in our little. Uh, it's our Game Boy. Right. <laughs> I was going to mount it up here, but these wires they don't. Um, they don't allow it, me to do that without drilling a hole. And plus, whenever we build the house and drywall everything, I want near the front door, I want this to be mounted so I can just go go up and check it without having to physically come out here. So, I mean, as of right now, you can see what my uh, battery voltage is, is 60.9, uh, which I have it set at 61, which I think is just, it is at 61, it's just it's reading slightly off. The system must be totally wrong then. All right, now Spencer is going to fix the roof. One of the things that I can finally do now that we have solar power, cut Spencer's hair. Finally. He's looking a little crazy. Well, I've been wearing so many hats. <laughs> Ken's cuts, now giving solar powered haircuts at a barn near you. Ha <laughs> ha.